it's quite strenuous, I, I will say, following the Rams. Um, but we do it, don't we? It means what it means to me because it meant something to me dad. You know, my granddad being involved at Derby County it makes me feel endlessly proud. We were world famous once. I, I wasn't around myself, but you can't in inherit all this history. And rightly or wrongly, you, you develop expectations about the present. And uh, I, I'm of the opinion that we are a top flight club at best. But re recent form would probably indicate that we're more so a, a championship outfit, which is which is fair enough, but pretty hard to accept, especially when you consider our, our last tenure in the Premiership. We broke records for being as poor as we was. Worst team in Premier League history, it's important to point out. You know, we were a club in free fall uh, and then Clough came in and we signed Sean Barker. We got him from Blackpool. I think he, he had this hairstyle at the time. Yeah. Go on, shorty boy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he just led it. Like a typical centre back, you know. And I think we were in need of those sort of figures just, just to steady the ship more than anything. You know, he was such an integral member uh, of our side at that point, a regular in our team uh, and a fan favourite. I feel like he embodies uh, a, a lot of traditional and very, very important attributes for a centre back to have in any era of the game. I guess it is welcomed at Derby because that's. Particularly our, uh, you know, our, 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 our older supporters, the people that might have been around through the glory years, let's, let's call them, in the early 70s. And that, that's what football was. And uh, I guess the game's evolved into something different now, I'm not knocking it. Uh, some might even claim that it's improved, but there was definitely a spirit to it, you know, there was a communal feel, I guess. And, and you know, I kind of... For, for want of a less typical phrase, uh, a, a working class style hardship. If you were grounded and you stayed down, it was that was an admission of defeat. Uh, and I think Sean Barker hail, hails from that kind of era. He kind of echoed all, all, all of what you appreciate the game for in the first place. No gimmicks, just pure black boots with his shirt tucked in, old school. He'll put your headwear over, he'll put his headwear over people wouldn't. It's refreshing nowadays to. To, to see that attitude as opposed to the, you know, more trendy, perhaps a little bit overpaid, kind of spoiled, uh, kind of very pretty football. It's good to see people getting stuck in in the nitty gritty. Uh, a, a figure within that dressing room that was a, was a definite and, and a, it, it was a leader. And, and, and so, someone for the younger players to, to look up to and uh, aspire to. And, for, for saying his family are from Nottingham, you know, a, a, a pretty uh, admirable ram. And then that very unfortunate, disastrous night against Nottingham Forest, uh, which I was there for. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it, you could tell in the atmosphere as well, it, it was quite sunken. You knew it was bad because he, he didn't really stay down too easily, Barker.